Hi everyone, welcome to our video diary log. Today is Sunday and it is the 16th of April 2023. How are you? How was your week? Did anything happen that stood for the rest of the week or was it just like an ordinary week? I wanted to come to this video diary log today because to me a week ago was really a very good week for my symptoms and this week has been not so good at all and I, I do worry I was so happy the last week and then this week it wasn't as good and then I just kept on repeating in my mind God is a bigger God than my circumstance I need not to worry and I just repeated John 10 10 because that verse really speaks to me and I just said the thief came or comes to steal, to kill and destroy, but you, O oh Lord, you comes to give life, to give hope and to give salvation. And I just kept on repeating that and I just said, you are my healer. Even when you wouldn't heal me the way that I want you to heal me. You are my provider. Even if you will not provide me the way that I would like you to provide for me. You are a bigger God. And you see a bigger picture compared to my view. I only see a segment of my life, Lord. But you... See the fullness of my life and I trust in you. The word this week was trust. Let me tell you an honest revelation. Before anything and everything that happened in my life, I thought I have a God, yeah, but then I owe my automatic default when I have problems and everything was to have my thinking cap like come back like I can do this like just see the positive side of things but it's all about me doing the work that I can surpass this like that but then came this and this isn't something that i was able to surpass on my own and i reached out for god back in 2013 or 2014 um i had a verse that really stood out to me which was I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and will give you a heart of flesh. To be honest, um, today, I, I mean yesterday, I thought of many excuses because I have a Bible study with my uncle, with my Tito Allen and Tita Cha. They are a couple. And on a video call and Saturday evening, Saturday afternoon to Saturday evening, I was really feeling lonely and that and I thought um, I want not to show up. I don't want to show up on Sunday because I don't feel like I have, I have joy. Because honestly, I, I wanted to share joy as opposed to sadness and everything. 
But then, I was reminded that my God is not there just for my triumph. That God doesn't filter his heart for those people who are joyful and who's successful and who has an amazing day or an amazing week or an amazing month. He embraces everyone. And it was just me. Uh, I wouldn't say me. It was an injection. In injection of the enemy saying that you're not good enough. You're not going to get better. You thought you're getting better. You're not going to or something. But then I said, you are my healer, Lord. Regardless of whether or not you will heal me the way I wanted you to heal me. Because you are the God of my life. It has gone by already. The time that I was the driver of my life. One of my prayers when everything fell apart was that take the wheel out of my hand. Like, take the wheel. Do you know the song? And I said, it is very suitable for my situation. And I call God to take the wheel out of my hands. Because I can no longer see where I am going. And you know what? Tito Allen was um, having cough. And Tita Cha, the wife of my Tito Allen, was the one who did, I mean, who led the Bible study. And she prayed hard as to what message she she should share the, I mean it, we do our Bible study every 8 in the morning here it used to be 7 in the morning but the clock went forward an hour so now it's an it's every 8 in the morning on a Sunday and you know what maybe the enemy didn't want me to show up because it, the message that Tita Cha prepared was definitely an answer and a reassurance that God is not abandoning me. That I just need to trust Him. Allow me to, allow me to share to you the verse that she said because she asked me prior she asked me kim um, is there any victory or do you want to share anything that stood out for you this week and that and i said um i wasn't feeling so good this week and i felt down and everything but then i said God is my healer regardless. That he is in control. He is a bigger God than my circumstances. The thief came to destroy, kill, and steal. But he is the God that gives salvation, life, and hope. And he said, and she said, praise God, Kim. Because our message today is about trust and the opening verse was of was from Matthew twenty five down to I think thirty and it says Matthew six twenty five to thirty says So I tell you don't worry about the food you need to live. And don't worry about the clothes you need for your body. Life is more important than food. And the body is more important than clothes. Look at the birds in the air. 
They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns, but your heavenly Father feeds the birds. And you know that you are worth much, much more than birds. You cannot add any time to your life by worrying about it. And why do you worry about clothes? Look at the flowers in the field. See how they grow. They don't work or make clothes for themselves. But I tell you that even Solomon with his sweet chest was not dressed as beautifully as one of the flowers. Isn't that like a response to... Like he... I understood now when they said that he's a loving God. That the word... I mean... I'm referring to the Holy Bible that the word is a living word. He converses. And I thought before, nah, it is something of fairy tales. I love fairy tales and such. And yeah, it's good to have that story. But no, nah, he's not conversing or whatever. That's what my mentality was prior but then when i told you that 2013-2014 of ezekiel what stood out was that verse i will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you i will remove from you your heart and stone and will give you a heart of flesh whilst we were talking with tita cha and doing bible study I realized that God has been talking to me. I mean, He was reaching out. And it's not just true for me. I'm nothing special. Although I'm special to, like, every one of us are special to God. But for me, I mean, I don't just stand out. Like each one of us are special to him. And that he wants us to have a communication with him. He wants us to have a relationship with him. He wants us to trust him. And that's what I learned. Um, this week I have seen the preaching of Pastor Brian War of chapel of change and he said god's love language is trust and what a suitable message right jim and i just earlier today like 30 minutes ago or an hour ago we have this time, like most of the time, since I was like on sick leave and everything, that I would ask for a huggy hug hug. A huggy hug hug is we have two couches, one across from the other. And then I, facing the TV, I am on the right side and he is on the left side and huggy hug hug meant like in in a narrow couch jim will be going to my couch and even if it's uncomfortable but we will hug up like it means hug and we did just that earlier and most of the time, it's just an ordinary hug. We fell asleep in the, on the couch, even if it's how uncomfortable it is. But today, he said, You know what, hon? Because he was achy and everything. And I was like, I was feeling a little bit down. And... I, he said, what's the matter? And I said, 
just feeling down it is like yo-yo but not as down as i used to because i know that i'm not alone and then he said you know what hon and he became emotional at this point he said you know what hon you're still the same person that i married that parkinson's doesn't define you it didn't change you you're still he said you're still the kind the caring person that i love and he said i could not ask for more and i said how oh, i wish i could do more but i'm so happy that you see me that way and he went on saying that he will wait for me that even in the afterlife he will care for me and wait for me and he carried on saying you know what and he was so emotional at this point and he rarely does that he does that a couple of times in our marriage but very rarely and he said it should have been him and I said you helped me a lot and I'm very grateful in that and that he said you know what I, he said this is him saying I'm not scared of death what I'm scared about is I'm leaving you is leaving you and you need me That is just, that is just um, a statement of love, isn't it? When I thought before that my husband would bail out from situation that he didn't sign up for, which is this, it's actually the total opposite. My husband never treat me as useless, burden, free, reject when I thought of those. He would always reaffirm his love for me and everything. Not just through words, not just through hug and everything, but every day. And I'm very grateful because, yes, it's a difficult situation to be in. But I am given such, such a wonderful husband. Don't get me wrong. Jim is not perfect. Neither do I. Neither am I, rather. But you know what? Jim has a short, short fuse for anger management or something. Um, I used to know him being temperamental and everything, but to others, towards others or situation, but never to me. It's like he's always like the bad boy per se. But to me, he's just an amazing, kind husband. And my husband may, may be like temperamental, but he, even when he does, didn't have a God before, it's just recently that he accepted God is as his Lord and Savior. I saw Christ in him and I remember telling him that you know what? You are a self declared atheist, but I see Christ in you. He is the most 
Christian person that I have known who denies that he has a Christ in his life. And I'm so grateful that in our rough situation, when the thief meant to destroy, kill, and steal, that no, he didn't win. He might have won, like making me feel down, but he didn't break me. Even when I thought I was broken, and even when times nowadays that when I feel I am broken, no, I am always reminded that I have a big God who did not abandon me still, who doesn't abandon me, and not just me, us. I was born cat like in a Roman Catholic family and I have a God like in the school. It's always been in Christian living. And when I went to college, it's re-ed religious education. And I thought I knew God from church sermons and that. But honestly, no. I'm just so blessed that I am surrounded with people who made me realize that having a relationship with God is more than going every Sunday to church. Having a relationship with God is actually treating Him as if He is alive. And not as if, treating Him as he is, that he is alive. You can talk to him regardless if you're angry, if you're hurt, if you think he cannot go on. Just talk to him. And it's amazing what you find out about him and about yourself in him. This is a lot longer video diary log and uh, I really hope that I really hope that these video diary logs wouldn't just serve as my memory or an album or whatever of how I felt or a log of my week or day but I really hope that in this video diary log, it would reach somebody who wants to hear that somebody else is going through something. And this is how she feels and everything. And this is how Christ, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit intervene. So, if nothing else, um, what I want you to take away from this video diary log is that no man is an island. And if we, if we think we can do life on our own, it's a big, 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 big false reassurance. But just like every rain... There would always be a rainbow, even when you think there isn't. And I hope you have a beautiful Sunday and a beautiful week ahead. I'll see you soon in my next video diary log. Thank you. Bye-bye.